Welcome everybody to another wildlife photography video and today I'm in a place called Ulkra Flats in Lincolnshire. So this is the first time I've ever been here to Ulkra. I've heard about it, I've seen some pictures from here and there is one bird in particular that I'm really really after uh, and the conditions today are very very good for that bird. Uh, this is getting interesting. Apparently it can flood like, really easily so you pretty much have to wear wellies if you come down here. So I've got quite a few. You're a pain in the. You're an absolute pain in the. Grey lag, noisy grey lag geese. I've got quite a few geese coming and going, like coming in, landing and taking off. But apart from that, there's not really a lot. So I was just about to say how quiet it is because it's just been really quiet everywhere so far um, and then I heard a really distinctive sound of uh, two swans, I could tell it was two as well, there's such a distinctive sound to the wings, swans flying and I could hear them come in from the right hand side so I thought they are going to come in and land uh, so I managed to change the settings, to change it to video mode on my camera. Uh, kind of slow motion and uh, managed to track them coming in so that was good and then there was already a pair of swans on this lake and it looked like a bit of a standoff and one of, the, one of the swans from the pair that was already here kind of went into aggressive posture towards the, the newcomers um, and then the newcomers basically decided they'd had enough and they flew off so um, yeah they got displaced from the pond but I managed to get some shots when they took off as well it's kind of flying away from me which is annoying um, but I actually got them as they took off and the feet in the water so it was all good So that was a fantastic test for the eye focus on this camera then. There was a pair of mallards and they're quite close to the hide and they're kind of feeding on the water surface so they're just kind of sifting through on the water and they were just constantly moving the necks. I've rarely seen a mallard move that quickly, it was really really fast so they kept constantly like moving their heads out so the heads were constantly in a different position, changing direction all the time, almost like really jerky at times. Um, so I was just using the eye focus and it was doing pretty well actually so it would be good to see kind of what success rate I have from that. Now, admittedly, it has been really quiet in this hide. I've not had much apart from ghouls, geese, and mallards. That's pretty much been it. Um, but I really like to make the most of any opportunities I can. You know, otherwise, it's just a wasted trip. Now, there's been one grey like goose which has been kind of climbing up onto this mound. It's like a like a mound of cut down reeds uh, in front of the hide, and it's been climbing up to the top of there. So I thought that'd probably make for an interesting picture. And as well as that, you've got kind of these reeds around it, the reeds that are growing around it, and it just makes like a really, really nice composition. So I've done a couple of different versions, um, just sort of changed the position of the goose a couple of times, and then done a vertical as well. So I've done horizontal and vertical compositions. And I just really like, uh, with the bird on top of the mound, and then those reeds surrounding it, I think it's a really nice shot, really, really nice habitat. Oh, 
I just heard them again. Definitely heard them in these reeds. So still no no sign of my of my target bird today. Uh, I've heard them, but I haven't actually seen them. This is really interesting, these dead trees. They're like really tall, sort of thin, really stark dead trees. Bit of a climb. A bit of exercise, right? Oh, busy. It's an absolutely amazing view from up here, stunning. Really extensive reed beds, golden, gorgeous reed beds. And I'm just looking across at the moment uh, to the estuary and uh, see wind turbines out there as well. So I guess that's the Humber estuary. I can hear them. I can hear the little pinging calls just in the reeds, probably not far from the edge. Yeah, really nice hide, beautiful view, but everywhere's just really quiet. I'm not really seeing much today. Hmm, I could photograph a fire. So the bird I am after, and I know a lot of you will have figured this out already, it is of course the bearded tit. And yes, if you're not a birder, there is a bird called the bearded tit. So I did hear them today for sure, I could hear them in the reeds, uh, and I think I saw a couple flitting across the path as well, but I just didn't come anywhere close to getting any pictures. I've hardly taken any pictures today, but I've still really enjoyed it. Just coming here somewhere brand new. I've never been before, getting to know the place. I look forward to coming back. Now, if you have enjoyed this type of in the field vlog with you on my shoulder, then check out this video here, which is very, very similar, but I get a fantastic opportunity and some of the best pictures so far in 2023. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you somewhere in nature sometime soon.